Hello, and welcome to the Sea Life Weymouth Adventure Park. The Asian short-clawed otter is the smallest of the otter species worldwide, reaching up to one meter in length and weighing up to five and a half kilos. The largest species of otter, the giant otter, which is found in South America, reaches up to 2.4 meters in length and weighs up to 24 kilos. The UK has its own native species of otter, which you may have been lucky enough to have seen in the wild. These otters are known as the Eurasian otter, and they are twice the size of the otters that we have here at Sea Life. Sadly, Asian short-clawed otters are currently classed as vulnerable on the IUCN Red List, meaning they are vulnerable to extinction due to land degradation and being hunted for their fur. As the name suggests, Asian short-clawed otters are found in Asian countries such as China, India, Malaysia and the Philippines. Humans and otters have had an interesting relationship in the past, and this continues in small traditional communities. Traditional methods of fishing in Malaysia use otters to help fishermen catch more fish. They do this by training the otters to swim alongside their boats and help herd fish into their nets. Rice farmers in Asia are often very happy to have otters on their land. That's because their crop can often be destroyed by crayfish and the otters provide a natural pest control by swimming in the paddy fields and eating the crayfish that they find. The Asian short-clawed otters have many adaptions to help them in their aquatic environment. They have two layers of fur. The outer layer is called the guard layer, and this acts as a wetsuit to repel water away from the otter's body. Closer to the skin is a shorter, fluffier layer of fur, which helps to keep the otters nice and warm. The otters also have partially webbed feet which allows them to swim gracefully, along with a long, thick tail which they use like a rudder to help them steer themselves under the water. In the wild, otters will mostly eat fish. They will also eat a wide range of other foods, including frogs, newts, rats, rabbits, ground-nesting birds and sometimes plants. As the wild otters have a very varied diet, our otters at Sea Life also have a varied diet. They are fed on a mixture of white fish, red meat, chicks, fruit and vegetables. We also give our otters monkey nuts and by chewing into the nuts and breaking the shells, the shells rub against their teeth so they act as a natural toothbrush. The shells help to dislodge any debris stuck between their teeth and helps to keep them nice and clean and their gums nice and infection free. At the back of the enclosure there is an indoor enclosure and this is the otter's halt. This is where the otters can go to get some shelter, rest and stay warm. In the wild, this would most likely be a hollowed out log or a hole in the riverbank. In the wild, they would collect their own bedding, but here we provide it for them and change it regularly. Thank you for watching and taking the time to learn more about our Asian short clawed otters. If you have any more questions, please ask a member of the Sea Life team 